So this is an update on ACE curriculum. We've been using it for a little over a year now, and about a year ago I made a video talking about what I liked about it so far, even though we were just starting it. And a few people have sweetly asked if I could make an update video and say how it's going for us. So that's what I'm doing today, and we are loving it. I'm so glad that we switched to ACE. It's really been a great fit for our family, and it's just so much easier for me. So I wrote a note card here of some of my favorite things about it. So the first thing I wrote down is that it's biblical. Every couple pages they have a comic. I'll show you an example. And the comic just has examples of kids making good choices and living biblically. Here's a comic of some boys fighting. This is in Kennedy's, um, it's either third or fourth grade. And the dad or the teacher says, okay boys, listen to me. Let the one be first who has never pushed his friend. And then they say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Let's forgive each other and start over. Every pace has a Bible verse that students learn and then are tested on at the end. So about every three weeks. What's that say? Redeeming. Redeeming the time. Ephesians 4, 16. 5, 16. 5, 16. Good job. Um, and then I also noted that I really like the kindergarten songs. Um, the last two that we've done are I'm in the Lord's Army and Sound the Battle Cry. And I just really like those. We've It's given me opportunities with my two kindergartners to talk about how in life we have a war against our sin and against Satan and those songs reinforce being Christian soldiers, you know, and Jesus being the head of the army and things like that. So I really like that. The climate. Different state. A climate is the kind of weather a country has. Kind of weather that country So our climate here, do we get snow where we live? Yes. But in the summer, does it get very hot? It yes. does, yeah. So, like, like Africa, it never gets cold. Right. Gets Some parts cold. of Africa are always hot. The next thing I really like, number two, is that it's very conservative, and you could easily say it's old-fashioned, which is just old-fashioned is probably just a personal preference. But I love that it's theologically conservative. They have very strong gender roles that are taught from kindergarten on, like what a boy should do and how they grow up to be like their daddy and a man and then the same thing for a girl. They have examples of reading the Bible individually and as a family. In first grade I remember Sawyer was reading about why evil people do wicked things and then why we should follow the Lord. We just read today in kindergarten about how marriage is forever and it's a promise that a husband and a wife make to each other and to God to love each other for keeps it said and I just love that they're already reinforcing that and then in I think it was third grade Kennedy was learning about the Bible verses for a husband and Bible verses for a wife and then also how the family is the most important community which I just thought was such a great point to be teaching kids and a point that the world doesn't teach at all, you know? So I thought that was really awesome. Okay, number three. I love that ACE is very independent. So my older two kids are in, they just, we switch over around this time of year, the new year, so they just went into second and fourth grade. But they just ask me for help when they need it. I'm not with them constantly, which is a huge help. I am with the kindergartners the, all the time. So if we're gonna have a super busy day, like we're moving right now, and I've had to do a lot of cleaning and decluttering and get the house ready and all of that, on those busy days, I can just drop kindergarten for that day and know that my older two can still get school done and I can still help them while I'm able to do other things. So that's just works out perfectly for us. So I would say it's, because it's very independent, it teaches them to be more independent 
and that's really great for large families or busy seasons of life or for us doing foster care it's really great like this weekend we got a call that we might get a newborn foster placement and it, I don't think it's working out I haven't heard anything more about it but I just felt like I was able to say yes without worrying too much about what would happen with school because I know that I can take it easy on kindergarten for a few days if I need to and my older two can still get their schoolwork done Okay, number four, I love that it's self-checking. Starting in about third grade, the kids check their own work, which reinforces concepts immediately for the students. And then it also alleviates some work for me because I'm mostly just checking her tests or, you know, I check up on her and see how she's doing, if she's getting everything, but um, I really love that concept. So I'll show you a little clip here of Kennedy checking her work. Here's Kennedy checking her work. They start checking their own work in about third grade with a score key. And so if she misses an answer, she would put a red X next to it. And then she would close the score key and go back and try to find the right answer and then circle it. So she's right away teaching herself the right answer and what she did wrong and reinforcing what is correct. Okay, and number five, I love that there's not a whole lot to pack for moving. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. And it's just, there's not much to move. So this is Kennedy's paces coming up for the next two or three months. These are Sawyer's. These are Tucker and Katie's. And let's see, these are score keys. Um, and then each kid has their binder and a lot of the other stuff I have here is just extra stuff that we don't even really need. But what I just showed you is really all that we need, so it's super simple. And, and then lastly, number six, it's easy to take on the go. It's time for lunch, and then we're gonna go get ready to go to the birthday party. So what I need you to do is, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. So I just need you to pack up your binders and make sure you have everything you're gonna need to finish school in the car. So bring your paces that you're not done with, your books, and Kennedy, your notebook for writing. What's confusing about that? Why are we doing it inside? We can do it when we get back. No, it, we're gonna get back late, so we're gonna finish school in the car when we drive over there. Just bring your stuff. Okay, so bring, pack, just set everything you're gonna need to the side and we'll bring it with us in the car. And you can just put your board away. Okay, I was just gonna show you guys really quick. Sawyer's in second grade and this is the schedule we made for him. We do co-op on Wednesdays. That's when we have all of our fun science and music and art and PE and all the fun things. Every day he either does two or three pages of math, two or three pages of English, two or three pages of word building, math drill I just have him do twice a week, social studies two or three pages, science I have him do two pages three days a week because we also do a lot of science at co-op, and then every day he reads a, a Bob book to me. And we just read the same book for a week and then start a new book. And then Kennedy is in fourth grade and this is her schedule. So on Wednesdays when we have co-op, she just does one page of math, English. She actually does two pages of word building, one page of social studies. And then on the other days, she basically rotates between three and four pages of each subject. And then she has math drill three days a week she reads a book for 20 minutes. Right now she's reading Little House on the Prairie and then she writes about it for five minutes in a notebook. We keep Mondays a little bit lighter because she has writing lessons on those days. So that's how we do our schedule. Let me show you also our kindergarten schedule really quick. So the kindergarten is laid out for five 
to do five days a week, but I don't do kindergarten at all on Wednesdays when we go to co-op. So basically what I did is I just made day two, day three, day four, and day five. And then their day one, I split up throughout the week. So here we do day one's English. Here we do day one's math. Here's day one's social studies. This day I combine social studies and here I combine math. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I've reworked this schedule several times and this has worked really well. I think I have it exactly how I want it now. We're not necessarily on Thursday because today's a Tuesday, but all I do is I just move this. So we just did this day and tomorrow we're gonna do this day. So I just put a little sticky note there. And then if I have time, I might put my little sticky notes and get it ready for the next day. So today we started with, we were on day four and then we were gonna flip back and do day two's social studies. So I will sometimes stick these sticky notes in so that the next day when we open up kindergarten, we're all ready to go and it's pretty simple for me. So those are the six things that I love so much about ACE curriculum, as well as how we've modified it to fit us really well. If you're thinking about switching to it, I don't know, I love it. I can't see anything that you wouldn't like about it, but there's so many great curriculums out there that there's just so many great ways to go. But thank you for those of you who asked for an update. That's really sweet of you guys to wanna to know how it's going for us. And I hope you guys are doing great with your homeschool year and we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Bye-bye.